Hello YouTube, Total Henry here, back with the number one rated show on YouTube. I just made that up. Welcome to another episode of What I'm Reading and Watching, the weekly show where I talk about the manga and anime that I've read over the past week. As you can see, I'm back here again because I think this looks nicer. Um, so remember, as always, the times and the table of contents are in the description so you can choose what you want to hear me talk about. Okay, now just to start off as usual, we have Toriko, chapter 316. Now, something in this chapter, I will say without giving away, looks like a Rasengan. Little Naruto reference, but get on to the chapter. Um, it's starting to get interesting again. For a while, I was kind of annoyed with Toriko, as you know, but I'm interested again. Um, plot is happening, and... There might be an actual fight, not just sort of dancing around. There might be an actual fight, which is kind of exciting. And the last thing I want to say is I find it funny that in Toriko, all the villains are like, I want food. Give me food. That's the only thing I want. Well, I guess in Toriko, food can has magical powers, but it's kind of funny in all other series. The bad guys like, I want to take control of the world. Toriko, they're like, give me food. Okay, so moving on is Bleach chapter 619, and this was a really good chapter. This reminds me of why I loved, why I love Bleach, or why I love Bleach more, like the er earlier volumes. Just Taikubo, he's taking things and he's tying them back, and he's making you second guess stuff, he's having you think back to earlier events. Um, there is great action, there is this plot that comes out of nowhere, these sudden developments that are just incredible. Ichigo, like, as he did before, he gets, like, really mad and just, like, attacks the, attacks the guy, and it feels like the old Bleach. Um, also, everything that is going wrong for Ichigo and his friends right now is going wrong. Everything that could go wrong... Is, go, is going wrong. Now, One Piece was on break this week, so sadly we don't have a One Piece chapter. Next up is Nisekoi, chapter 162. I don't know where to begin with this chapter. My friend and I actually discussed this as we walked home from school today. So much happens in this chapter. This is a roller coaster ride of emotions, at least, at least for me. Um... The one thing that I said in an earlier video, probably a few weeks ago, that I did not want to happen in this arc happened. So that upset me a lot. And I was still upset, but by towards the end of the chapter, I was hoping like it might get better, my feelings, I hope I wouldn't be disappointed. And all of a sudden, Raku, you thought he was going to say something heartfelt for once didn't he said probably the stupidest thing possible and we got a chitoge classic punch raku where he just like flies that hasn't happened in a while um something oh my god he i don't i won't tell you what he said but when he said said raku said his thing to chitoge i i i lost i just put my head down on the desk by my computer, and I stayed like that for like a minute, or two, or eight, maybe nine. Um, so, I was kind of annoyed, but then the ending, I see potential in the ending, and I'm kind of not as excited as I was previous chapters, but I'm ex interested to see where this is going to go. So, Nisekoi sort of made it, it's this chapter's all right. Very sort of roller coaster ride with my thoughts where I was annoyed, I was frustrated, then I'm interested. Um So this is probably like the biggest chapter out of everything today just because I just couldn't believe it. Okay, I'm just mo moving on right now. I have to move on right now. Shokugeki no Soma, chapter 1010, with the image over here somewhere on the side of the screen. Okay. 
Um, looks like Soma is going to have a challenge. This is going to be very exciting. It's not going to be the usual food battle thing, but this is uh, a challenge. I wonder, I'm trying to wonder if he can keep up. Um, has Soma, I just don't know if he can keep, keep up here. This guy is a really great chef and can Soma just hang on? Can he become better than him? And that's what this arc is going to show us. Just how good Soma can be and just how far he can rise. Um, I like where this is heading. There are a few new characters that I don't really care about. They haven't shown me enough to really int interest me. Um, now the last thing that's confusing for me is, excuse me, is he's so much out of school. The Japanese school year school calendar has always confused me. So I'm not sure if he's in school, if it's summer break, if he's just on like a field trip or something, just like uh, last arc where he was interning at a restaurant. I don't know if this is a continuation of that arc or whether he's just intern at a restaurant instead of going to school or whether this is summer. I have no idea, but it doesn't change the fact that I'm excited to see where this is going to go. Uh, carrying on with the weekly series, we have My Hero Academia, <clears throat> chapter 34. This was an interesting chapter, and like I mentioned in the last video, I wanted to know what Uzuki Midoriya, uh, the main character, what he saw in the last chapter, and they did talk about it. Their, um, All Might wasn't exactly sure what it was, but now the reader has some more insight, and I was worried the author was just going to let that go and forget about it. And I was really curious, so it's good to see that. Now, this chapter mainly focuses on Todoroki Shoto, Todoroki Shoyuto, the half fire, half ice guy. He is so strong. That double page spread was just amazing, and he's quickly becoming my favorite character just because of how strong he is and we learn his tragic backstory and just his personality he's becoming my favorite character now moving on to Hayaku chapter 149 I think that's how you pronounce that this was a great great chapter really great flashback involving the third years when they became freshmen and they joined the vo volleyball team really sad chapter but you get to see their inspiration and why they are so pa so passionate and I just really enjoy that and there's so much character development in this series and that's rare for sports mangas to have a lot of character development and that's one of the things I mentioned last week that I love about Hayaku just the character development um now lastly I can't wait for the final match it's incredible and I'm also curious now let's just assume for a second that they win the fi fi final match they already had the required sports manga one loss like I shield 21 they had a big big loss haiku they had that one one loss are they gonna lose this one I mean some sports mangas they'll lose twice are they gonna lose um and if they lose in the third years leave are they gonna enter the tournament again is the first years and second years are if they win what's going to happen is the series going to be over if they win just going to say and the series ends i don't know how the final match is going to be played but i'm i would be happy with it ending right right there um again i don't know that's just my sort of feeling i don't want the series to drag on too long but i'm sure the mangaka won't do it i don't know his or her name off the top of my head but they are really great they've crafted a really good story so i think whatever they just he or she decides to do i'll agree with it i'll like it okay now today is the final week of jump start let's give it a hand i'm glad that i stuck with this so finally we have ultra battle satellite chapter three the final jump start series and next week we'll get to see what series they picked uh the readers in america want so Jump Start is where America Weekly Shonen Jump gets all the new series that Japan is getting, and we get to try the first three cha chapters out of in this time around of four, four series. And so, as I said, Ultra Battle Satellite Chapter Three—that's the last series in the last chapter. And so next week will be the series that 
they picked and it will continue. If it's Black Clover, I will keep reviewing, re reviewing it. If it's Ultra Battle Satellite, maybe. And if it's Kagami or Cyborg Rogi, probably not, but I'll let you know next week. Okay, so Ultra Battle Satellite Chapter 3. This was much better than Chapter 2. I really love Chapter 1. Chapter 2 I thought was okay. Chapter 3 was back to where Chapter 1 is, but not quite, quite as good. There was good action in Chapter 3, which was the reason that I liked Chapter 1. The reason I didn't like Chapter 2 was the lack of action. Um, now, I can see myself reading this series a little bit more because it is kind of interesting but at the same time I don't see anything that makes it super original and super different and something that's going to make it stand out as a great series such as like Naruto or Bleach or Yu-Gi-Oh or the posters behind me it's not like one of these great series behind me on the wall but it could be a bit like a solid series like sort of a if like these series are like A pluses, this might be like B B plus. So it's would be a good solid, solid series. Um, and the other thing that I was wondering as I was reading this, I was wondering, is the author is the manga ka going? Oh, I just spit on my oh god. Um, is the author or manga ka is he going to keep the fighting realistic, semi realistic, or is it going to be? crazy fantasy battle like Dragon Ball Z with energy or is it going to be slightly more based in reality sort of like history's strongest discipline was where it's more based on real martial arts so I'm not sure and this chapter as I said was was good the the action was good and I'm starting to like the main character a little bit more but he seems kind of generic doesn't really stand out enough so now Last thing I want to do in this video is I haven't had any anime for a while. And I don't know if you would call this anime, but the other night I just watched the movie Castle in the Sky by Hayao Miyazaki. It is called uh, Lap Laputa. Um, I think that is the Japanese name and it comes from Gulliver's Travels. Apparently in the book Gulliver's Travels, I for forgot the author's name, there was a castle in the sky, so Hayao Miyazaki took that name from the book and just sort of added his own thing to it with the basic premise, there's a castle in the sky. Um, so I really like this movie. This was, I've seen a bunch of Hayao Miyazaki movies and I would rank this one sort of in, in the middle. Um, plot wise, this is very, very good. You don't know exactly what they what the plot is from the beginning, and for a while, you're not sure. Um, there's this girl named Shita and the boy named uh, Pazu. I'm going to call him Pazu. I think that's his, how you pronounce it. And Pazu's trying to take Shita because the government, like, army's after her, and some pirates are after her. And you're not sure, like, which one of them is the bad guy. And... You're not sure for a while, and they slowly give you information in a way that feels real, not just all of a sudden, hey, I forgot to tell you something. That happens once, but it's the information I feel comes along nat naturally, and there's a good build up in it. So I think this is a good movie. The plot has a nice uh, direction, there's a journey that's involved, and also the characters. You don't know which characters are going to be on the good side, which characters aren't going to be on the bad side. Some unlikely team-ups happen. And there's so many good characters in, in this movie. I really like the art. I always like the art in, in his movies. The art is one of the reasons why I love Miyazaki's movies. Any of them, and I think they're like some of the best end movie animated movies I've ever seen just because of the art. So the art was fantastic, especially the art... When they get to see the castle, I thought that was like some of the best art of the movie. Um, anything else I want to say? Oh yeah, uh, Pazu, that kid, he can do anything. He's an incredible main main character, but it seems that the only complaint I do have about him is he can do anything and everything. Like he takes so much physical abuse and he's just fine. And he's like 11, 12 year old, maybe 13 year old kid. So I find that a little bit hard to believe, but this is still a good movie and I highly recommend it or any of Hayao Miyazaki's movies. And that concludes another 
what I'm reading and watching video almost forgot to title my own series. You should click the subscribe button if you have to. If you have to. You do have to. You should just click it wherever it is on your screen and I will make more videos and you will see them in your sub box. If you click that subscribe button, that might be up there or down here or there.